All right guys, so today I'm going to be looking at my first compressor in my airbrush uh, and how-to range. Now this is something quite unique, it's a very small air compressor. Now the purpose behind this for me is I don't have a permanent airbrush setup, so I do have to pull out my equipment every five minutes when I want to use the airbrush. Sometimes I've only got a, a quick priming job to do or a quick undercoating job and you know what, it can be a bit of a pain dragging all the compressor out and everything. That's where this comes in. A cute little miniature air compressor. So let's take a look at it and see what you get inside. Alright, it's very easy to get started with this. Very simple. Take that off. Okay. Obviously there's no tank. It's for quick jobs only this is. Let's just slide that out of the way for the moment. Nice rubber design. Very simple I must say and very small and unique. Uh, you've got your little on off button there and of course your power lead there and your air outlet there. So awesome. And then of course you get your air hose. Standard fit in there and of course this air hose will push onto this section here when I can actually see properly that will go on there and of course you will add your power which is this power adapter, this is for the UK which is the free pin plug and then you've got the little airbrush holder there which you can just slot in there there we go Sorry guys, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Great. Tiny little compressor, but it's going to be perfect for those quick jobs. And, and, and to be honest, it's also an excellent little desk compressor as well. You know, where room's tight and you don't have a specific work area and you can't really have loads of stuff all over the place. It can really get on your nerves. Um, of course, this has a PSI of maximum of 30. Free speeds. Airflow is 0.37 CFM and I reckon this baby is going to be absolutely perfect for what I want it for. So do you know what guys, now we've had a look at it, let's go and test it. Okay guys, so as you can see I've uh, hooked it up to the uh, Neo 4 Water airbrush, which uh, this is a good test actually because I believe you can buy this little set combined on their website, I'll put a link in the description. So yeah. Let's have a look at the compressor firstly. Obviously I've taken that out of the handy little hold there. Connected the uh, very simple rubber tube into it. Now it works basically on a very simple um, thing. All you do is turn it on. As you can see it's starting to pump air out. And then if you, so like, let me just check. Yes, the colour purple indicates that there's medium pressure coming out. High blue. That's uh, obviously maximum PSI, which is about 30, and then low, which is probably about 15, which is red. And that's it. Turn it off, simple as that. So what I'm going to do, just give myself a bit of room, uh, because of the tripod. I'm going to place this on the floor. Bear with me, guys. I've managed to get myself tangled. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually use that compressor and this airbrush to base coat this model, uh, sorry, prime this model, I should say. So I'm gonna be using Vallejo Model Air, which is quite a thick, gloopy uh, primer, so I'll, I'll set the compressor to high, which will probably be about 30 PSI, which is more than enough, to be honest. So here we go. Okay, check the flow. Well, as you can see, there's absolutely zero problem with that. Brilliant. Now the beauty of the Neo Air is because it's such a small compressor, there's a lot of people out there that just do want airbrushes or consider getting airbrushes for the sole purpose of what I'm doing now, which is basically priming and perhaps some base coating as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just finish this last little bit off, go off camera and dry it and I'll be back. Okay, so that's nice and dry now. No problem spraying that rather thick primer out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm only going to apply the base colour to this model because I have covered the full workings of the Neo uh, airbrush in the previous vid. So there's no need to duplicate myself there. I'm just 
pretty much showing you the functionality of the uh, Neo Air Compressor. So right then, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I've actually put Vallejo Model Air in my airbrush now, which is a, is a designed uh, airbrush paint anyway, so what I'm going to do is, let me just check, purple is medium, yes. I'm going to put this on low pressure, oh my god, even at low pressure this airbrush more than copes with the uh, the paint. Brilliant. And you know, there's always those jobs, those really quick jobs that you think, oh man, I don't want to pull out all my equipment just to do a quick five minute spray. Um, so the Neo Air is a fantastic little compressor just for this. I mean, obviously I'm, you know, just base coating at the moment, but I could spray the entire model with post or pre-shading using this airbrush and this compressor no problems whatsoever so don't think it's limited to just priming models because it isn't um, you'd think I'd learn to put a bit more paint in my cup wouldn't you okay so yeah as you can see no problems whatsoever guys so I'm just gonna finish off and uh, we'll do a final look so there you go guys, that's all there is to it. I've uh, dried the model off now, as you can see. Fine, no problems there, no issues whatsoever. So, for the space saving capabilities, <coughs> excuse me, this is absolutely perfect. A quick job, I've done it. I haven't had to drag out my main compressor and all of my other gubbins, and it's performed admirably. Very simple, like I say. Just all about pressing the switch on off when you want it. Very indifferent PSI's as well, fantastic. And in tandem with the Neo uh, for a water airbrush, great starter set for those quick uh, air, uh, airbrushing jobs, and and larger jobs of course. It's not intended to be a major workhorse compressor. Um, it's aimed mainly at uh, new starters, people that just want to see if they're going to gel with airbrushing. Well, th I've got to say this tandem is the perfect thing for you. You know, it's not very expensive. Links, like I say, in the description, guys. Perfect setup for you. You don't have to break the bank if you want to break into airbrushing. So go and check out the links. Make your own mind up. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Cheers for watching. Hope it's been a help. Don't forget to look out for more series uh, videos uh, regarding airbrushing. And I'll see you in the future. Cheers.